Welcome to the video review of the shared source module, the content rotator, from the site called shared source library. There is already a basic module called the add rotator that changes the image every time you visit the page where you edit your rendering. The content rotator gives you a lot more options. It allows you to link to the items that you point to it in the rotator. You can also add YouTube videos and in the animation sections set how the content should be rendered. When you have installed the module, you need to add two lines of references to the JavaScript files in the header section of the layer that you want to use the content rotate on. You can find uh, these lines in the documentation on the project room. Then you need to create an item of the content rotator. Let's see, have it here. So you already create a separate folder called the content rotator. And here I have my item content rotator settings. In the settings items, there are two sections general and animation. You need to fill these out with the information that you need in order to uh, display your rotator. First, you need the data source, and which I point to the product category. So all sub items with the data source field named description will be shown in the rotator. And you set the width and height, and what uh, starting slide. Also check the random order. In the animation section, we set the transition. You can see there's a long list of different transitions that you can use. We set the speed, which is set in milliseconds, and then the delay. You can read more about the timeout and synchronize and pause on hover. Of course, it's self-explanatory on the Project Room's uh, documentation. Now we have everything set we need to add to the rendering to our site. So now that we have uh, all these information set, we need to go to a page and find the page that we want to the content rotator uh, displayed. Hit the design, and I want it in a content. Add. Select the content rotator. And remember to hit the properties because we need to point it where we have our settings. And let's go back here. Hit save. And close. When this is done, you should get something that looks something like this. And if you want to learn more about the shared source modules available from the Sitecore shared source library, you can visit the index page where you can see the five latest added modules, as well as the entire list on the different categories, view the project room for each module, where you can read the documentation and download the package as well as the source. You can visit the project room for the content rotator by using this direct link, which also contains the package you can download in order to have something similar on your own website. If you want to contact the shared source coordinator, you can do so by using this email address. This was a review of the shared source module, the content rotator.